Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warfare and today we're taking out the Type 82. This is a, a nice tier 5 tank may I say, it's actually quite decent. It's There's nothing special special about this vehicle, but it does the job quite well. It's above average in, in most categories, it's got really good armor, very nice front turret armor at that, the front turret is very very bouncy. You've probably experienced this quite a lot on your own games. You shoot you shoot at the front of a Type 82 and you can bounce quite often. Depending on what position they're in and how they're angled, it can be quite a challenging vehicle to take on. It's also got a very powerful 105mm gun. I personally have the loaded, the AP and the heat rounds because I don't usually take HE. I should do, I know, don't get all angry. I should take HE a few rounds of it, but I don't because I'm an absolute rebel and live life in the fast lane. That's how rebellious I am to the system. But yeah, the AP rounds are quite powerful. With what I have on the Mark III chrome barrel lining and the Mark III propellant, I actually have 373 damage per hit. Coupled with, I think it's the 330 penetration. I'm I'm probably wrong on that, but it's got good penetration, the gun. It's got good penetration on the AP. It's got good damage. The accuracy isn't shoddy. But without being aimed, it is pretty crap. Not going to lie. The accuracy while trying to, like, what do they call it? Snapshot? That's not very good at all. Gun depression isn't utterly amazing it's an mbt so you ex sort of expect that from it but the reload time is also i wouldn't know if i would say it's good or bad it's in the middle it's not like the t72 it took a bouncer off the turret actually it's not like the t72 where it's got a ridiculously long eight and a half second reload for me but it's not like the m60a3 where it's six seconds and for some reason, my commander has just decided to tell my crew to ready up after we've taken a bounce and put a juicy 492 damage round into the side of a BMP. Now, T-72 side of a turret. Boop. No, my heat rounds are never going to penetrate that. But as I was saying... Um, what was I saying? Was I talking about the gun? Penetration, damage, spoken about that. Um, accuracy, depression... Uh... Yeah, good gun. Yeah, let's move on. Mobility isn't bad either. The mobility can get you around the map. It's above average. I would sort of, well, I'd compare it to the T-72, of course. It's got about the same mobility as that, but there's one thing about this vehicle that I really like that the t none of the other MBTs have. For me, the Type 82 is aesthetically pleasing. I really like the look of that suspension. I love the look of that suspension. And to me... Playing a tank that looks nice is just as important as the vehicle itself being good. Put a round to the side of that T-72, by the way. He backs up. Aim up. Accuracy. Doesn't fail us. Two rounds straight through the side. Dealing, what was that? 610 total damage. 1,102 damage done. MBT-70 and a Type 85-2 rushing. Gun depression is limiting us again. Aim time as well. No, it doesn't help us at all there. It's got a very slow aim time, which is a massive problem for this vehicle. There you go. Oh, that round there was actually lucky to hit. It just hit the top of his turret. We took a side round there from the ERC-90 F4. Now, I don't want to be taking too many shots in the side. Although, mentioning taking damage now, this vehicle actually has a rather high amount of HP for, you know, for its tier. Look at that, MBT-70. That guy had 1,735 HP. Look at my total HP. Yep, 1,763 my, I think I have the Mark III hull reinforcement on this thing though, so my stats are a bit different to what you may have. But the way I've set mine out, mine has more HP than the tier 6 MBT-70. To me, that's quite cool. I like that. As a tier 5, that's quite helpful. It's got a good, uh, good amount of HP, very good gun, very reliable gun. That's the thing though, it's a reliable gun. It has good penetration, good damage, good fully aimed accuracy. Um, a decent rate of fire. It's not bad at all. The armor is reliable as well. You can rely on the armor to bounce certain rounds. Like, I was playing a game, I think it was three games ago before this game that I'm showing you now. I took on two Chieftain Mark Vs and a T-72. And I held them up for about four minutes. They, they couldn't penetrate me. I think it was on Coastal Threat. And I just kept this thing in a nice hold down position. Backing up when they were advancing on me and moving position. You know, tactically retreating when I had to. 
And I could keep them at bay for quite some time, dealing quite a bit of damage. But sadly, in the end, I died and we lost. And I wasn't particularly happy with the game. I didn't want to show it because it doesn't show the true potential of this vehicle. It sort of does, but it sort of doesn't at the same time. So now that we've sort of finished up all the fighting on our area, we're just aiming our gun around. We've got heat loaded, and I want to get that Typhoon, but the Typhoon dies. And then there's the VBL. VBL is AFK. Aim up. Hit him through the top. 494 damage. Now, I've been dealing nearly 500 damage a hit with the heat rounds on this vehicle. Both of the ones that I've fired have done just shy of 500 damage. Now, at tier 5, that's good. But we're in a tier 6. Well, in tier 5, that's bloody brilliant. 500 damage a hit at tier 5. It's like 7 second reload on an MBT as well. That's quite good. But at tier 6, it's, you know, it's decent 500 damage a hit. But you start getting vehicles like the MBT-70 with its AP rounds can do nearly 500 damage a hit. Or the T-72A can basically do that with its AP rounds. But for a tier 5 vehicle, and for it being new, the new dog on the block... I say this thing is actually quite good compared to all the other ones. It's got better armor than the Leopard. Not as good as the t MB... Um, the M60A3. It's not as good as the t T72. The gun is... I would say it's... It's better than the Leopard 1A5. And I would say it's also better than the M60A3. But I would personally prefer the T72 gun over this thing. It's, it's a very sort of above average. If you compare this thing to all the other MBTs, it's sort of... Generally comes above 50% if you line them all up. It will always be in the top half, I feel. I, that's how I personally feel about this vehicle. You may think it looks crap and it's crap in general, but I like it. Although I haven't been doing very well in this thing, I still seem to want to play it and I still seem to enjoy it. It's really, really odd. It's the first vehicle in the game that's like that. I do badly and I still play it. I don't understand it. But overall, judging by the stats of this thing, how it's been playing, I, I would say this tank is very good. Very good. Not fantastic. It's not on the level of, say, the T-72. The T-72 will be probably the most competitive Tier 5 main battle tank you can get. Very, very good Tier 5 main battle tank. And we got Scout. We got the Scout, the Recon Award there, for spotting seven people in a Tier 5, in a Tier 6 game. Quite good. But yeah, this vehicle is very good. I do recommend getting it. But it's probably the last tank you'd want to get in the Zhang dealer. And another thing as well about this game is I was a tier 5 in a full tier 6 match. There were four, four tier 5s on our team. Boom. Look how well we did. Don't give up just because you're the low tier, okay? You know, you can always do well. You can always do well. Even if you're at the bottom of the board, I came second from top on damage there against MBT-70s. So, guys, thank you for watching this Type 82 gameplay. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.